Hey, what's up guys? David Glenn back for davidglennrecording.com and theproaudiophiles.com. Now, kind of continuing on our celebration, so to speak, of releasing mixingdrums.com. Going to bring a slew of free tutorials to you uh, here on the Pro Audio Files YouTube channel. Uh, this one's not going to be talking about drums per se, but we're going to take a look, uh, continue on with effects sins. I was listening back to a previous tutorial that I recorded, and I uh, was kind of annoyed at the volume of the effect and... Um, I was just kind of showing it, teaching it, but I want to kind of take a look at how I might actually mix with the effect that I used, the Gino Hall, and uh, these clean guitar sounds. So I've added a little bit of compression with VMR, you can see that here, and uh, we'll take a listen to what we're working with, and then I'll show you what I might do in a mix. Okay, so just some clean guitars, and then in the previous video, I had this unmuted and was demonstrating the Gino Hall, which is the um, modulating reverb. All right, and here's what it sounds like with the Gino Hall in, kind of at that, just kind of a stale setting. Okay, it sounds okay. I really like the, the effect, the verb. But I think we could do better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that down. Okay. And then I'm going to go into automation mode, uh, touch. And we're going to kind of ride that up. Now, when I'm doing the tutorial, the video is recording on my drive as well as Pro Tools rocking a full uh, mix session here. So uh, it gets a little bit uh, jumpy on me, but you'll get the idea. So here's me attempting to ride this in. Okay, so you kind of get the point. It's super jumpy. It's not smooth at all. But uh, if you uh, experience CPU issues, you could always come in here and draw in some volume swells like that. And do a couple of these real quick. And let's take a listen to what that does to the track. Pretty neat, right? So. Another way to look at using your effect sends, get in and automate, ride some of that sound up to create some sustain, some ambience, and some guitars or a vocal. All kinds of things you can do with this. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out mixingdrums.com, mixingvocals.com, all of the incredible stuff over at theproaudiophiles.com. I say it a lot, but whenever I'm, str I'm struggling or I'm trying to figure out how to do something, all the time I'm going to the Pro Audio Files. Just hit a quick search. More often than not, you're going to find exactly what you need. And uh, tons more to come. So thanks again, David of DavidGlenRecording.com. See you guys.